Hi, quick video on a Mackey SRM450 version 1, this particular unit built in China, as is this transformer. Built in China, the amp's about 6 years old, but this transformer, look, date 4906, a week 4906, so that transformer is like 10 years old now. And it's also been made shoddily. I thought this transformer shouldn't be blowing fuses on the primary, not at sort of six or even ten years old. Took off the secondary windings, and if I show you first where the mains goes in, see if I'm getting it in the right light. You might be able to see just there above my finger. There's a crease. If I zoom you in a bit. That crease is where the mains connection was sitting and by the time you get the tape and then all the secondary windings it squeezes these into the primary and so that's already damaged so that probably probably would have failed in the future but around this side you get the sec all the secondary winding connections here's one of them there and where these have been pressed in to the transformer it's damaged the primary and it's eventually started arcing and blowing. I think that's about as close as I can get. So, Chinese made Mackie SRM version 1, or oh, sorry. Chinese made SRM 450 version 1 uh, with a Chinese made power supply and I've lost the label to give you a closer look and that's where it's made and that's in China so if your Mackie SRM 450 version 1 blowing fuses unplug this connector from the PCB put another fuse in if it still blows you know you've got a dodgy transformer that's bad news I understand Mackie or from what I've read on the internet Mackie have stopped making these or supplying them I have seen some other sellers selling them for over a hundred pound which is ridiculous for an older amp like this you buy probably a second hand speaker for that cost or get a version 2. Now the version 2 is where their switchboard power supplies blow up. Maybe it's not so bad because if you found you can repair them. So Mackie SRM 450 version 1. Beware of blowing fuses. Thank you very much.